at noon, the MTA announced a specialized team of MTA officers will now work to enforce the payment of bus fares. And the teams will not only be on the buses, but at bus stops as well. The MTA estimates it has lost $315 million to bus fare evasion just last year. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is in downtown Brooklyn with the story. Tom? And you know, that $315 million, guys, that's a big number, but that's just buses, which the MTA has said uh, has suddenly become its biggest fare evasion problem. But add subways to that, you're talking a number closer to $690, $700 million. So uh, it's leaking money this way, and it wants to plug that leak just as soon as possible. So problem meet solution. They're actually uh, working just behind us. Take a look at some video. These Eagle teams expanded, backed by the NY NYPD, which will roll out a larger presence. Over the next few weeks, the Eagle teams themselves, unarmed, uniformed, but watching very, very vigilantly for people who are fair jumping. They just want everyone to pay their fair share. That's the bottom line here. The union, though, has a bit of a different take on that. They say, listen, in their experience, people who are fair jumpers are also likely to engage in other types of crime, all too often targeting TWU members. That is money we should be using to provide better transit, and instead, it's totally lost. It's not fair to the millions of riders who play by the rules. This joint agency approach is just another example of the NYPD and MTA's collective work to deliver riders quickly and safely to their destinations. And this initiative is good news for our bus operators. Our main issue is the onslaught of assaults and the harassment against our bus operators. They are the victims of horrible and cowardly abuse every single day. We know that fair evasion and assaults go hand in hand. So some pretty strong words there from the Transit Workers Union on this, but the uh, bottom line from the MTA really is, okay, pay your fair share, but also this fair evasion problem should not be a crime of poverty. So it's working with the Social Services Department to make sure they get the word out that if you're a low-income New Yorker, you are eligible for a half-fair car to make sure everyone pays and the system is fair for everyone. Live in